Hi friends, since the GATE 2021 registration website opened, some of our students have reached out to us and wanted a few clarifications. So we thought we'll make a video clarifying the most often asked questions about registering for GATE 2021 examination itself, right? So again, we'll do screenshot by screenshot so that it is clear on each of the exact steps. Okay, cool. So let's go first and foremost, right? So First, let's discuss some of the general doubts which the students are encountering. Again, I'll share this whole document with you so that you can read it even after this video is over. First, let's discuss some general questions. Okay. So one, one, again, if you, if you, if you see the gate brochure, this is, this is something about the examinations. So there are total of 27 different papers that candidates can take for GATE. Just like you might be interested in GATE CS, which is computer science, there are 27 different papers. This does not refer to the various subjects in the GATE CS paper, but it refers to GATE ECE, GATE electrical engineering, GATE uh, environmental sciences and all of that stuff. So the 27 different papers refers to 27 different GATE examinations altogether, like CS being one of them. Just wanted to make that clear, right? So it is, again, uh, let me read this. The different dates of examination mean that the 27 different papers are spread over different dates. It does not mean the same paper will be conducted more than once. Gate CS will be conducted on a specific date only, not across multiple dates, okay? The 27 different papers could be conducted on different dates, right? That's very, very important. Now, there are... If you look at the grade bro gate brochure, it says the two new subject papers that are added. So they, they include gate ES and gate XH. So if you look at the brochure, again, here is a screenshot from the gate brochure itself. So if, if you look at this, there are two new subject papers that are added, which is environmental sciences, humanities and social sciences. These are not the new subjects added to gate computer science. Just like GATE Computer Science, now you can study GATE and you can write the examination for GATE Environmental Sciences or GATE Humanities and Social Sciences to get admissions into Environmental Science Departments at various institutions or Humanities and Social Science Departments at various institutions. This does not mean Environmental Science and Humanities are added to GATE CSC. That's another confusion that we have seen. Okay, So please note that GATE CSC syllabus is, is exactly what we have discussed in previous videos. The GATE ES is a completely new GATE paper for environmental sciences for people who want to pursue their master's and PhD in environmental sciences. XH is for humanities folks who want to pursue master's and PhD programs in humanities. Okay, that's very, very important. Now, the other confusion that we often see is students get confused about one or two papers that they're allowed. Remember, the computer science folks are allowed to take computer science and or mathematics. So you can take gate computer science. If you are interested, you can take gate mathematics. Very important, this mathematics will help you pursue master's degree in mathematics and other areas related to mathematics at top institutes in India. So CS folks can take gate computer science or they can take gate mathematics. Those are the two options that you have. Vast majority of students only take gate computer science. If you have prepared for gate mathematics, then you can take both of them. Okay, remember the mathematics syllabus is very different. It's not just your engineering mathematics and discrete mathematics that you have in computer science. It will have real analysis, all sorts of things. Okay, this is for people who want to also have the option of pursuing a master's degree in mathematical areas in addition to computer science. So, there are two different papers altogether with two different syllabus. Okay, please remember that. So, for example, if you look at this. The code for primary paper, code for papers allowed for secondary paper. Again, this is a screenshot from the brochure, right? So if you look at this, you have CS here. So somebody who is taking their primary paper as computer science can take their secondary paper as mathematics. These are two different papers, completely two different papers. Most likely the examination for both of them also will be on two different dates, most likely. Again, you'll have to refer to the brochure for that, okay? Vast majority of people will only write one exam, but if you have already, if you also prepared for GATE mathematics, which means GATE MA, GATE MA, not GATE CS. GATE CS has some mathematics subjects like discrete mathematics, engineering mathematics, all of that. This is not same as this MA, please remember. 
This is a completely different paper with a completely different mathematics syllabus. Okay, please note that some people are getting confused with this. If you have just prepared for gate CS, just take only, attempt only the gate CS paper and fill only that in the, in the application form. If you have prepared for gate mathematics also, which is a completely different paper, not the CS paper, then that's a different story. Then you can apply for both of them. You can attempt both these papers. Now, very, very important. Again, we have clearly written it down. Please note that gate mathematics paper is different from gate computer science. It's a completely different paper. Okay. Students are getting confused that engineering mathematics and discrete mathematics in gate CSC are what are there in the maths paper. No, the maths paper is for people who studied maths at undergraduate level or mathematics related subjects at undergraduate level. Right. So, please don't get confused. If you have prepared for gate CSC, please only apply for gate CS paper, not for gate MA paper. There is a different paper called gate MA paper. If you are a CS student, because this video is being made with specific focus on gate CS students, please fill CS as your first paper. If you have prepared for MA, then only fill for MA or else don't fill for it. Okay. Again, if please, please refer, if you are interested again, if, if, if you want our opinion on should you take the gate MA paper or not, Please look at the MA syllabus in the brochure. If you know all the subjects and if you have time to prepare for two gate exams for two different subjects, then you are most welcome to take both. But remember that a vast majority of students will only take the gate CSC and not two papers. Okay, unless you have prepared explicitly for gate MA paper with gate mathematics syllabus, not the gate computer science mathematics syllabus. There are some mathematical subjects in computer science. It's not that, that's not same as the syllabus as gate MA paper. Gate MA paper has its own syllabus. If you have prepared for both of them, then apply for both of them. But from our own experience, over 99% of students will only apply for one paper. If you have only prepared for gate CS, then please only apply for one paper, not two papers. Okay, very, very important. Again, balancing and preparing for two papers is no easy task. Cool. So let's move on. So these are some of the important dates that are that are listed on the gate website also. Again, the gate application, the gate online application processing system uh, in, in the important dates, it said it would open on 14th of September, but it actually opened on 11th of September. In our previous live session also, we just called it out. So if you want to fill the form, just go to this web page, gate.iatb.ac.in. Okay, so you will encounter a page like this, right? So on this page, if you just say get, again, you will be redirected to this page, which is if, if you just click on, if you click on applying, if you click on apply for gate 2021, you will be redirected to this page, which is appsgate.iatb.ac.in. On this page, you have to first register. There is a register here button. Okay. If you've already registered, you can log in directly or else first register clearly. Okay. Step one is to register yourself. Right. When you register, please give your official details as per your ID cards, whether it's your Aadhaar card, passport, voter ID card, whatever ID cards you are using, please enter your first name, middle name, surname and the name of the candidate very, very clearly. Please note that you have to be very careful when entering your details, whether it is name, address, all of that stuff. First, please register. Right. So very, very important. Again, what we are doing here is a summary of what, what we are doing here is summary to explain you how to fill. But please also read the information brochure. We have also put the link here. This is the most recent version of the information brochure, which is updated on 9th September. Please read it for any additional help. Okay. We are trying to summarize what's there in the information brochure, but please read the brochure also just to avoid any errors. Okay. First, please register with your details very, very clearly. Okay. Please don't mess up these things. Have your ID cards next to you so that you are giving your details exactly as in the ID cards. Okay. Cool. So please go through the documents which will be required. Here is a list of important documents and details. Okay. First, you need your personal information, your name, date of birth, mobile number, parents name, mobile number, etc. All these information. You need your address for communication, including PIN code, your eligibility degree details, your college name and address, gate paper or papers that you want to apply. If you're a CS student, most likely you'll only apply for gate CS paper. But if you've also prepared for gate mathematics paper, MA paper, then you'll also put in for that. Four choices for gate examination cities. 
and then some images if you uh, you might need a scanned copy of your category if you belong to sc or st category scanned copy if you belong to pwd certificate if you belong to that category certificate of dyslexia valid identity proof net banking debit card credit card upi details for fee payment again please keep these documents and these details ready before you fill in next step okay please log in okay S since you have already registered just log in this whole just log in with your information keep again all this information please fill in extremely carefully please follow the guidelines given on the web page and also in the brochure okay please be extremely careful to avoid any mistakes i'm 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 like repeating it multiple times okay so there are five stages in the whole after you have registered there are five stages the first stage is called exam details okay in the exam details your first paper if you're because this 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 whole page is for csc folks that were with specific focus your paper one will obviously be computer science and information technology okay it will be it will have a code of cs okay so if you also want to take gate cs and gate ma then you can say i want to take two papers and fill the ma paper again please only apply for ma paper if you have explicitly prepared for gate ma paper whose syllabus is different from gate cs paper please remember that if you have only prepared for gate cs just say one paper select the paper as computer science and information technology the code is cs again choice of country whichever country you are currently planning to take the examination in four cities because they'll try to give you the first city that you have applied for if they cannot accommodate you they'll give you other cities okay please fill these details very very carefully double triple check to avoid errors cool very good now let's go to the second step the second step is all personal details okay in the personal details page the name email and mobile number will appear automatically as per the registration details at the time of registration in addition to your name your email address and mobile number is also asked so same details will be populated so here we have blurred our details here so you will get some enrollment id name on admit card email mobile number everything will come you have to verify them okay so there, there is verify email and verify mobile number please verify them so by clicking on the verify email address and verify mobile number please verify to proceed simple verification then enter your other details like date of birth gender nationality category etc again if you select sc or sc uh, sorry sc or st in your category then then okay if you select that's why we have written it clearly if you select sc or st as your category in the fifth step you will be asked to upload the documents necessary to prove that you belong to that category if you select any other category you don't have to submit the category certificate at the time of filling the form but if you belong to any other categories like obc please ensure that you have the certificates for it you don't you you will not be asked to sub you will not be asked to upload them now but you need to fill all these details perfectly accurately with documented proof okay please don't mess up those things please be very very careful cool okay so once you're done then you go to the third third step third step is basically filling in the correspondence address please fill in your pin code or zip code your country your state union territory enter these details very very carefully so that there are no errors all the all the physical communication with you is clear if they have to send something by post you will get it accurately okay very important fourth step is about entering qualifying degree details now what are your qualifying degree details what is your college pin code what is the name of the college in which state or union territory your college is there your college roll number your degree again this is an important question have you graduated in the above degree if you have already graduated you say yes or else you say no right then it says year of graduation uh, degree awarded the college name etc so in the previous years there is a small confusion here in the previous years students were in the earlier in the earlier years if you look at gate 2020 and earlier students who are in who are in the final year they were asked a provisional certificate here you don't require it in this this time there is no need this time neither a provisional certificate nor a qualifying degree mark sheet are required to be uploaded you don't need it now earlier it was asked so there was a small confusion here again select the name of your degree 
your college enter the details perfectly accurately then your discipline or branch if you have already com completed your graduation select yes otherwise select no give the name of the university and the college again give all these details perfectly accurately you don't require to upload any provisional certificate or qualification or qualifying degree mark sheets at this point of time earlier it was asked in the previous year so there is a small confusion there now comes the final fifth step in the fifth step you basically upload all the documents your upload color photograph there are clear there is a clear guidelines that is here please make sure you are following those guidelines which are very clearly mentioned when you are uploading uh, a color photograph of yours similarly for your signature please follow these guidelines perfectly similarly your photo id there are a bunch of valid photo ids again which is which is mentioned earlier only upload those photo ids perfectly as given right very very important okay then there is a there is a simple question where do you first come to know about gate 2021 you can fill it right so very very important so please fill in all your all the applications that you need so all the documents that you that that are being asked again this document set might be slightly different for example if you fill to be a, i mean if you choose your uh, so if a candidate category is sc or st in step 5 they will be asked to upload the documents supporting that also again please try to upload all the required documents as given there is very clear description here clear guidelines given here please follow them as accurately as possible or i would say please follow them to the last letter okay please fill up these fill up the i mean it's not hard but you have to be slightly careful and avoid the avoid some basic mistakes so the purpose of making this video is to answer or to or to give you some basic clarifications based on questions that we have been getting in the last one or two days okay so please fill it very carefully have all of your documents ready whatever is the name that you have in your documents your address all of that please fill very very carefully double triple check before you submit it